Hello guys, welcome back to Coding for Beginners and today we are going to see the complete interview Q&A for C++ developers. So if you are new in the channel, please subscribe to it as it really motivates me to do more videos like this. So without any further ado, let's start the video. The first question here comes is, what are the different data types present in the C++? The data types in C++ categorize in the four, that's primitive, derived, enumeration, and the user defined. In the primitive data type, it can be char, short, int, float, long, or it could be double. In derived data type, it could be array or pointer. In enumeration, it could be enum, and in user defined wins the structure or the class. The next question here comes is, what is difference between C and the C++? So basically C++ is derived from the C with certain advantages which would be there in the C. The first difference is C is a procedure oriented programming language and the C++ is an object oriented programming language. C++ is derived on the objects. It uses the given code that is reusability in one thing that is advantages of advantage of a C++ than C. The second difference is function and operator overloading are not supported in C but function and operator overloading is supported in C. The separate video on operator overloading is available on the channel. I have given link in the description. Please check it out. The third difference is namespace feature are not present in C. My namespace is used by C++ which avoids a name collision. You might have seen C++ uses a namespace STD using namespace STD in its code. That means it is a which is user C++ because of it avoids a name collision. The next question comes is, is what are classes and object concept. So class is usually different data type that has a variables and the member functions. An object is an instance of a class. So let's say we have class A which is private is a specifier. Int data is its variable and void function is its member function. So class defined class defined as a it has a variables and member function. So member function over is a void func and the variable would be into data that is a member data member of this class. So the next difference over is a struct and the class struct is a structure and the class is a class itself. So what is structure structure members of structure are public by default. We can't make it specifier according to it and the member of the classes are private by default. The next question is what is operator overloading? Operator load overloading is very essential element to perform the operations on user different data types. By operator overloading we can modify the default meaning to the operator like plus, minus, multiplication, division and less than or equal to. That means this sign would have a more meaning than just addition. Subtraction would have the more meaning than just doing subtraction. I will tell you an example. Let's say addition of numbers is due by 2 plus 1 and in c++ concatenate two strings we also use the same sign that is a plus sign so plus sign in mathematician in mathematics what we do is addition but we in, in c++ we are using the for contact concatenating a two strings that means we are using operator overloading so i hope you got the concept now if not please check it out a separate video on operator overloading the next question comes here is what is polymorphism poly as the name suggests is poly means many morphism the many types so polymorphism is simple many having many forms it behavior is different in different situation i would like to go through a interview table of polymorphism it's compile time and it another division is runtime in compile time it's method overloading operator overloading and in runtime it's virtual function and function overriding. I have a separate video on polymorphism on our channel. Please check it out. The next question comes here is what do you know about a friend class and a friend function? A friend class can access private protected and public members of other classes in which it's declared as a friend. So you might have studied a different types of inheritance in previous languages or not yet. Okay. So in this case, there are types of inheritance like single, multiple, multi-level in which we have the access specifier as a private, protected and public. If we have private access specifier of a one function, then we can't access that into another classes. Let me give you an example. 
like friend class friend function can also access private protected and public members but friend functions are not member functions what are c++ access specifier private public is all as a specific specifier the public means all data members and member functions are accessible outside the class in protected all the data members and member functions are accessible inside the class and to the derived class the private all data members and member functions are not accessible outside the class this what where a friend function is comes into picture where the data members are not accessible outside the class but if you have the friend function we can access a private access specifier the the content inside of private access specifier so i hope you have got the concept now the next is what is the reference in c++ a reference is like a pointer it is another name of an already existing variable once the reference name is initialized with a variable that variable can be accessed by the variable name or the reference name both let's say int x is equal to 10 and int and reference is equal to x that means if we print ref that is uh, ref that is variable name this will also print a 10 because in am percent of ref that is the address of ref we have stored the value of x that is a 10 the next question comes here is what do you mean by call by value and call by reference this is a very favorite question of an interviewer and i would recommend you to go on another tutorials or the text based tutorials or like gigs for gigs interview bit to understand a more in-depth concept in call by value method we pass a copy of the parameter is passed to the function for this copied value a new memory is assigned and change the main to the values do not reflect the variable in the main function in call by reference method we pass the address of the variable and the address is used to access the actual argument used in the function call so changes made in parameter after alter the passing argument that means in reference we actually send that variable but in value we just copy the copy of that value would be uh, sent to the main function so if we change the value uh, of another variable the this could not be reflected in the call by value method but if it's in we call by reference it would be affected changes made in the parameter alter the passing argument what are destructors in c++ a constructor is automatically called when an object is first created so hence when it is destroyed the destructor automatically gets called a destructor has the same name as a constructor but is preceded by tilde the tilde sign is over a left side of a one numeric character so you can press shift and that key so that you can have the tilde sign the fun and the fun tilde fun this is a destructor and this is a constructor both have the same name because it's like a definition of constructor and destructor what are the pointers pointer is a variable whose value is the address of another variable like any variable or the constant you must declare a pointer before you can work with it so let's say how we create a pointer is int var is equal to 20 when var, var variable have a value 20 int star ip in star is asterisk ip is a how that's how we create the pointer and in pointer value ip we store the address of the variable so when we print ip we would get the value 20 and we uh and when we print a star ip that is a pointer ip this would print the address of that variable so thanks for watching this video till this point i know this video is not gonna cover your entire c plus plus interview syllabus but it's i'm gonna sure but i make sure that all your fundamentals would be cleared by concept like call by value call by reference pointers reference these are questions are like your fundamentals and many people skip this part and directly jump into the uh, deeper levels of it so i hope this video was helpful for you one more thing our channel has a separate c++ playlist over which i have created a five minutes to ten minutes long videos on each concept so it's easy for you to watch it before your interview so do check it out a c++ playlist also i have created a c++ revision video which is of the 14 14 to 15 minutes maybe so do check it that's all from my side i hope this video was helpful for you if please like this if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet please subscribe it as it really motivates me to do more videos like this and so it will notify you for my next